I'm a professional stylist with over 12 years of experience and today I'm here to share with you my top 7 style tips to significantly simplify your morning styling routine and elevate your style game. Don't waste 30 minutes on one outfit and don't buy a single clothing piece before you've watched this video. Hello beautiful people, my name is Elena and from my own experience I know that everyday styling can be very time-consuming unless you apply these easy 7 style tips and prepare your wardrobe like a professional stylist, making it work for you, not against you. Let's get started. Tip number one that will make your styling habits much easier. So create a few accessory sets where all the jewelry is coordinated as one set and use them to make your morning styling routine quicker and easier. I'm showing you my accessory sets to inspire you to use this strategy. So what I love about this approach is that you don't have to waste your time every morning thinking from scratch about which rings go with which earrings and what necklaces for your outfit. Just grab your set and you're ready to go. And my simple and neutral outfit, black pants and white t-shirt, just to illustrate how it works in real life. My first set, turquoise elements, leather laces, a black beaded necklace and silver metals. This is like a typical summer set with boho vibes. It works really well for summer styling when we need more accessorizing since we usually wear only two pieces in the summer. And by the way, if you somehow missed my video how to look chic in the heat, please watch this one because it was really good. I've got so many really nice styling insights and, and tips on how to look really chic and elegant in the heat. My second accessory set is all about red accents and golden metals. This is like a good option for a more subtle yet still active accessorizing. And the third set is more neutral with earrings as the main accent. So if you've been following me on my Instagram journey, you might have noticed that these sets appear frequently. Well, it doesn't mean that I wear only these sets and that I don't experiment. Being stylist and fashion blogger, it means that I'm always looking for new solutions, new styling ideas, but if you're just a girl who wants to look her best every single morning without spending hours, this is it. This is the answer. Tip number two, balancing the silhouette. So you might have heard about this rule, styling rule, so many times here on YouTube, not only on my channel, but in general. Don't wear two fitted pieces in one outfit. This is the quickest way to create an outdated outfit. These styles look outdated and out of place because of the silhouettes. Don't wear two fitted pieces, okay? On the other side of the spectrum, don't wear two oversized pieces in one outfit. It might end up looking frumpy and sloppy. Balance is all about contrasting two different silhouettes in one outfit. The best way to create really modern outfit is to pair one fitted piece with another, not just oversized, but maybe just loose item. That's it. For example, I'm wearing my tube top with wide leg pants. It's as easy as that. And yes, by the way, I have linked everything I'm wearing here today in this video. I have linked everything in the description box along with all the needed information for you to recreate my outfit. So no further questions. You have all the needed information in the description box. So the takeaway here is to organize your closet by pairing fitted tops with loose bottoms or the opposite way, loose tops with fitted bottoms. This way you can optimize your morning routine and enjoy the process of styling. By the way, here's another tip for you. If you have extra 20, 30 minutes and you want to spend this time on playing around with your styling, with your outfits, experimenting, here's the tip for you. Create a folder on your smartphone or computer where you can save outfit ideas and inspiration. This way you'll always have a go-to source for styling tips and can easily put together outfits you love. And it doesn't mean that you have to wait until you craft your perfect uh, polished and finished outfit. Maybe you're just thinking about pairing this top with these pants and you take a picture of this pair and you save it to the folder. Maybe the next day you go back to the folder, you look at this combination and now you know that, huh, maybe I want to like 
wear it with these uh, accessories. So don't wait until your perfect outfit is crafted. Do it step by step. Speaking of another art of modern styling, which is mixing prints and patterns. So as you might know, I run the Style Club. It's an educational platform for women looking to refine their style. And it doesn't matter whether you are a beginner or you are a professional stylist who is looking for a new instruments to elevate your styling knowledge. Each month we dive into a new fashion topic. This July is all about the art of mixing prints and patterns. So I'll be hosting a video lecture where I will reveal my professional approach and my professional knowledge on how to mix prints and patterns. So it's not just about fashion, actually. I think it's all about mastering the principles of design in general. Four reasons to join the Style Club. Exclusive content. Get access to in-depth video lectures from me and my wonderful and amazing colleague and a good friend, Diana Goss. Interactive learning. Participate in our private Facebook community where you can post your outfits and receive personalized analysis and feedback from me and my team of stylists. By the way, we're so proud of the community we have created in the Style Club because we have hundreds of women all over the world, like really international community where women support each other, help each other, and we have like really, really warm atmosphere. Limited spots. Our community is intentionally kept small to ensure personalized attention and supportive environment. Special discount, of course, special discount. So sign up through the waitlist link and enjoy a special discount on your membership. Don't miss out this opportunity. Join the waitlist now and get the notification first when we're ready to open our doors for the July program. Back to the topic. Tip number three, sandwich theory. And actually, this is another very simple style rule to follow if you want to create your outfits effortlessly without spending too much time. Imagine a sandwich. You have the bread on the top and on the bottom. Now translate this formula to the styling. It means your top and your footwear should echo each other in color to create cohesive look. This approach works beautifully when you don't want to fuss over complex styling, but I encourage you to take it a step further and think in terms of not only colors, but textures as well. For example, I'm showing you my outfit with top and flats that share the same texture. The most important message here, and hear me out because this is important, you can pair an unexpected bottom like my skirt here which seems out of place and still have a cohesive and fashion-forward outfit. So feel free to copy this look and this approach. Another lesson here. When you go shopping or maybe you work with your seasonal capsule wardrobe, think in terms of pairing tops with shoes. Create maybe like sets, pairs of tops and shoes. Again, it's as easy as that. If you use this approach and have wardrobe that reflects this approach, you will never have a problem creating outfits. Tip number four, and this one will significantly expand the capacity of your wardrobe. Wear today. Don't wait for that special occasion. And you can achieve this by using styling technique, dress up or dress down. Take my dressy skirt, for example. By the way, this is the one that I have featured in my video must have skirts for the summer season. Watch this one, it was really good. I can easily dress it down by introducing casual sporty elements like my Adidas sneakers and a fun t-shirt, creating an outfit for like, I don't know, running errands. Yes, it's an elevated look, but still perfect for those days when you wanna feel your, you wanna look your best. Or I can dress this skirt up by adding some dressy elements like my black top and heels. Yes, by the way, I found these old heeled sandals in the deepest shelves of my closet just to film this outfit. Well, you know, I don't like heels, but anyway, I found ones just to film this outfit for you. Now, I'm ready for a fancy occasion while feeling great in the same skirt that I wore yesterday. Think of any dressy pieces you have sitting in your wardrobe and consider how you can dress them down to enjoy wearing them every day, not just on special occasions. Let's be honest, they might never come, okay? So my main message here, enjoy everyday styling. Grab that dressy skirt or pants or dress, I don't know, and think of how you can dress it down and enjoy everyday styling. Now, tip number five, hair and makeup matter. 
yes they do! Never underestimate the power of makeup and hairstyle, especially when we're talking about the overall look. So my, and, and I'm not talking about that you have to wear heavy makeup or thoughtful over the top hairstyles. My main message here is that uh, a significant percentage of people cannot truly appreciate and analyze the outfit without all the details in place. I'm showing you the same outfit with me wearing no makeup at all and hairstyle that doesn't complement my features and the same outfit with my go-to no makeup makeup look. Nothing special, I just use my wear my foundation, a few drops of blush, like clean eyes, even without mascara or eye pencil, nothing more. And my everyday hairstyle. Nothing special again, just the minimal effort I put in every morning. So the takeaway for you here, the first one, never declutter your closet or go shopping when you don't like your reflection in the mirror as you might misjudge the styling. And another takeaway for you here from me as a professional stylist, don't spend even a minute on crafting your outfit, especially when we're talking about like some special occasions or even just an outfit for running errands in the morning, especially in the morning, before putting in minimal effort on the appearance. Otherwise, you might spend 20-30 minutes trying to put the outfit together only to end up not liking anything you're wearing and in the end you'll just throw on your favorite old jeans and your favorite old t-shirt, you run out feeling dissatisfied and spend the whole day unhappy with your appearance. So just keep it in mind, the next time you're crafting the outfit or go for shopping, just keep it in mind. As we wrap up today's video, I hope that my tips gave you valuable information, valuable insights, and that my tips will help you with your morning styling routine. My main message here, spend those extra 20-30 minutes, maybe one hour before the upcoming season or whatever you feel like you want to refresh your styling routine. This way, you can enjoy your everyday styling, spending only two, three, five minutes for crafting your everyday outfits and enjoy everyday styling because you have prepared everything beforehand. Anyway, thank you so much for spending this time with me. I hope that I will see many of you in the Style Club. Don't forget to sign up for the waitlist and see you in the next one. Some